there's some lovely grasses and things that grow on the beach here in Australia and I'm assuming <laughs> other places in the world um, so we're going to do a little recipe that I use now to paint them so I've mixed dioxazine purple forest green and some cadmium yellow medium together and I've got quite a wet brush here but I'm taking some paint off and just using the tip of the brush creating the impression that there's some sand dunes there and you can kind of really shape or create the suggestion of sand dunes just by doing that make a few darker patches a little bit of variety I'll lean a sand dune in from this direction So I've mixed up an intermediate color and all I've really done is add just a little bit more cad yellow medium to that and a little bit of white. And I actually added just the tiniest touch of forest green to it to greenify it a little bit. <laughs> Remembering all these recipes are approximations. They don't have to be exact. It's just to get the ball rolling so to speak. And I'm just strategically applying them here and there just to give it a bit of depth. So I've added a pile of white to that and a tiny little bit of cad yellow medium again. And I'm just going to put a couple more little highlights here and there. And the trick with this is to get plenty of paint on your brush but just use the tip and just be very, very gentle. Like that. Just let your brush do all the work. So this recipe is um, designed to paint all of these little tendrils that run along the sand. And it's an incredibly complicated combination of burnt umber and a bit of water. And all I do here is just roughly roll it along and kind of shape those sand dunes. If you add plenty of water to that, you'll end up with a lovely warm brownie kind of color. So I've mixed up a little bit of um, dioxazine purple and some French ultramarine. And I'm just again with the tip of the brush using those lines and shapes to create the impression of the light rolling down over the sand dunes or the shadows from the grasses coming down over the sand dunes. And the other thing with this is that you get to sort of create the time of day by the directions that the sand dune or the shadows are following. And as I said, it's a very simple combination of dioxazine purple and some white, and some French ultramarine. And we can kind of really start to form those dunes. So as an added thing here, I've actually added a little bit more dioxazine purple to that. I don't know if you can see that. And a little bit of cadmium yellow medium. And that just warms up those shadows in the foreground there and hopefully adds to the impression of those shadows receding off into the distance or those grasses there being further away than these ones here. Remember, recipes are just there to get you started. Never give up your responsibility. Keep looking at the world. Um, more soon. <laughs>